Well guys, in this video I will show you for the last time how to set affinities for USB devices and GPU and for your GPU. Uh, it's a really complicated basically situation because it's kind of hard to do the test to see the results to analyze your data about with the results and everything. Uh, before we start, of course, I have a guide that I recommend you to read uh before you do anything okay i think it's really important to check this guide everything i will say today it's uh, on uh, this guide it's upon this guide so i'm not gonna say something different on something more or something less uh, before we start of course you must be sure about if you have disable or enable upper threading or smt for amd devices for amd cpus on my case, I have uh, enabled uh, hyperthreading for my Intel. And let's start. Okay. How to, use, how to set GPU affinities? First of all, uh, you will use this uh, GPU affinity. Before you do everything, you must be sure about something. Go in Device Manager, and if you have already set affinities, you must check this. I don't think so many users have doing this but you must be sure about this location if i go on my location wait yeah this is the location you must be sure that you have unchecked all, all device all affinities from this location from this port okay and the same thing with uh, your gpu okay but don't worry about for this location for your gpu because or GPU will automatically removed when you run the benchmark. But for PCI location, you must do it manually to remove affinities. Okay. And all right, let's go on this program. This is from Amits and a good program. Okay. Uh, the first thing that you have to do, in my opinion, is to set this on 60 seconds for every test. You will be by default is in 90 seconds but i recommend you to 60 seconds to be more consistent don't change anything else go to file save and you are ready now you will run this as administrator okay and here you can see the estimated time you will press enter and the benchmark will start after the benchmark it finished you will see this uh picture okay how you will find the best affinity? On my case, the best affinity is CPU7 and CPU8. Why? On CPU7, I have the best averages, but in CPU8, I have the best 1% lows and 0.1% lows. These three things are the most important to check. Okay. On my case, because I have, as I said, hyperthreading on, I will set two affinities. CPU 7 and CPU 8. Okay. And you must be sure about three things average, FPS, 1% loss, and 0.1% loss. Okay. Don't check anything else. It doesn't matter, but these three things are the most important. After that, uh, basically, you have to do this at least three times to be sure about the results. Okay. And if you can't decide, do another test and another test to find the best affinity after that you will uh, navigate on internet affinity police tool you will uh, move on your gpu first and you will set the affinity that you found uh, that is the best and also you will go in device manager view device by connection and you will uh, find the location that is installed your gpu on my case is not the same with location info the location info of pci express root and my gpu is not the best is not uh, the same but uh, at the most uh, uh, at the most cases the location is the uh, same but don't worry if you are like me if you have the same uh, if you are on the same situation just don't worry because as you see it's the same location okay just i have also two switch ports uh, before uh, GPU and PCI Express. Um, so I will find 
this location. Here is my location. Okay, and I will set the same affinities with GPU. And I am ready with GPU affinities. Now, how to set mouse uh, tester affinity? With, how to set affinities with um, for USB devices? This is really hard, guys, because we haven't uh, any specific guide about this. Uh, the best that you can do is to play a game and to see with the, which is the best affinity and giving you the best uh, responsiveness, the lowest responsiveness, and that's it. However, you can use mouse tester, but I'm not trusting so much this program. Set this to 800, press this, press here on this area, do circles and press F2, do it for some uh, seconds, press again F2, load, make sure that you are in frequency versus time. For example, I will set this 400, it doesn't matter, and I must see the Anyways, uh, here is my graph. It's not the best. It's not good, basically. But we can do anything about this, guys. Unfortunately, this program doesn't work very well in the latest Windows versions. So I recommend you, if you can't, if you, it's if it's for you confused to use mouse tester, you should use latency monitor and just check this. You must check this this number, current measure interrupt process latency, and basically, it's, guys, it's really hard again to uh, see it from latency monitor. Okay, um, as I said, my opinion is to uh, play a game and just see the results. But also, theoretically, if you find the best affinity, you will see lower numbers in latency monitor. So, uh, that was the video guys, I think it's it's really simple, at least for GPU affinities, it's not something hard or uh, complicated, but for USB device, as I said, you can use mouse tester or latency monitor, but basically you can use latency monitor for every, for USB device and for GPU devices, and also guys, I think it's really simple, follow my guide on uh, for Internet Affinity Police tool, I don't know if uh, it's confused for you, but I think it's I'm giving many information about uh, Internet Affinity Policy tool. Also, uh, I have some graphs here, but there these graphs are from older Windows version, and for that reason, as you see, we have these good results, th this consistency on uh, graph. Anyways, I'm not gonna say something more. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you find out a simple and helpful, helpful video. Um, let me know in comments if you have any question or something. This is the last video, guys. I'm not gonna make a video uh, again for this. Unless if I found something very useful or very important to share with you. And that's all. Thanks for watching.